The modern portfolio theory was introduced by the economist Harry Markowitz in an essay in 1952. This theory went on to win Markowitz the Nobel Peace Prize. So why was it so significant? Well, it really revolutionized the investment world or the field of asset management to consider the actual risk of a portfolio. And this has shaped the entire landscape of investing ever since. We can say that modern portfolio theory is a framework for assembling a portfolio such that the expected return is maximized for a given level of risk. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see there's two portfolios. Portfolio one has a return of 12% and a variance of 10%. Portfolio two has a return of 14% and a variance of 10%. So variance is typically how the risk of a portfolio is measured. So we can see that both portfolio one and two have the same variance, but portfolio two has a higher return. So modern portfolio theory tells us that we actually prefer modern or a portfolio two in this scenario. A key element of the modern portfolio theory is the efficient frontier. Now, what we have here is a graph with the expected return on the y-axis. So as you go, as you increase vertically, that represents a higher expected return. And then on the x-axis, we have the standard deviation. Remember, we said earlier that standard deviation is the measure of risk of the portfolio. Each one of these red dots represents a potential portfolio. So a combination of asset weights, that results in a portfolio with a certain level of return versus a certain level of standard deviation. Now the efficient frontier essentially plots the highest possible combinations that you could get from these portfolios. Okay, so up here, this is the highest expected return portfolio, but it also has the expired highest expected standard deviation. But then we see that there's another portfolio right here that has a high expected return relative to standard deviation. Then we intercept here, and this creates the efficient frontier. So this orange line is the efficient frontier. But then we want to get the point that's the highest on the efficient frontier that's tangential with the risk-free rate. So we see here is the risk-free rate of return, okay? So if we draw a straight line that intersects with the efficient frontier, where is the tangential point? So if we do that, oh, let me start over, that was a bad line. So if we do that, we see that this portfolio right here is the tangential point on the efficient frontier. And then we call this red line the capital allocation line. So capital allocation or CAL line. And the orange line is the efficient frontier. Okay, and we've also determined that based on the modern portfolio theory, this portfolio right here represents our best portfolio based on the efficient frontier.